What is type 2 diabetes? Part 1. One of the signs of being a type 2 diabetic is getting up and going to the bathroom two or three, four times a night. That was me. And I'm thinking, man, did I drink all that? I think I be became concerned when uh, my aunt, who's only seven years older than I am, was diagnosed with it. And she was diagnosed with it when she was in her early 50s. And as I appro approached and passed that age point, I became concerned because I was overweight. Diabetes can be confusing, even frightening. But to relieve this confusion, you need to know what is diabetes. The most common form of diabetes is type 2 diabetes. That's what we'll be talking about. It usually occurs in adults after the age of 40. However, there has been a rise in the number of cases of type 2 diabetes occurring in children and teens. Being overweight increases your risk. Diabetes affects the way your body uses the food you eat. Most of the food you eat changes to glucose, a form of sugar. Glucose enters the bloodstream, causing your blood glucose level to rise. As your blood glucose rises, the pancreas releases insulin. Insulin works like a key to open the cells and let glucose enter. The glucose is used for energy or stored for later use. Normally, our bodies maintain a balance of glucose and insulin in the bloodstream. In people who don't have diabetes, the body maintains the right amount of glucose in the blood by releasing the right amount of insulin at the right time. This means that no matter what you've eaten, your blood glucose level stays between 70 and 140 milligrams per deciliter. But when you have diabetes, your body can't keep your blood glucose in this healthy range without help your pancreas might not make enough insulin. Or your pancreas might not release insulin soon enough after you've eaten. Your liver might release too much stored glucose into your bloodstream. Or your cells may have trouble taking in glucose because they can't use insulin. This is called insulin resistance. In any case, Glucose has trouble entering your cells, and with nowhere to go, builds up in the bloodstream, leading to high blood glucose, or hyperglycemia. For more information on what is type 2 diabetes, see part 2 of this video series.